Hi guys, welcome back to Iman Tehaley's channel. Uh, Iman's feeling a little bit pregnant today, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But um, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I think Iman feels like she's ready to pop, you know? Pop. I don't know how many videos we've got left until the baby comes and stuff. First one, last one, a <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it could be the last one. <laughs> Could be the second last one, who knows? <laughs> you know what, before we jump into the video, I kind of want to thank everyone for their love and support on our recent videos together and separately. And I'm just um, so grateful and I can't wait to just produce more and like, you know, for us to build a community here. So thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. I love you guys a lot. And it's so nice that it's not just like, People in the UK, we get people from Bangladesh, yeah. people all over the world saying hi and we say hi back and we love you all. We love you all, so yeah. <laughs> today's video. What's for today's video? <laughs> what the hell? I think you know what today's video is about. Is it? Well, for our audience, why don't you tell them? So for today's video, we're gonna go through baby names that we may or may not be using mm -hmm. for our little one. Okay, so we do have boy names as well, even though we know it's a girl, but I think the boy name list is so much better than the girl name list. And <laughs> yeah, it was much we, easier. Yeah, it was so that much was easier. Much easier. Way easier. So we'll share it with you guys yeah. and maybe I'll give you guys some ideas. Maybe you guys are having boys, who knows? Um, wait, 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 hold on. What? The list has some potential names for the future. I know. Why are we if changing? there, if if we have another one, <laughs> if the man's try, I don't know, decides to have another one. <laughs> we'll see about that. Let's just pop this one oh, out first. I need some water. Five minutes later. Oh my god, babe. Oh, it's thirsty. Alright, let's go. Mm, what is good? So we'll go through the boy names first, and then we'll go through the girl names first, uh, second. Okay, so the first boy name, which I find so cute, is the name Idris, or Idris. What do you think of that name? <laughs> it's nice. Um, I liked it. I really did. Um... But I don't think a lot of people would say Idris. Yeah, in I school they'd say like Idris. Idris. They'll, Idris. Say, they'll, they'll probably say Idris. Like Idris in, Alba. Exactly. Right. <laughs> James Bond. James um, Bond. Maybe. Or but, maybe it, not. but we have like, so the reason why we like that name, it's also an Arabic name and it's after the, it's a prophet name, right? Idris, yes. Idris, yeah. yeah, so. But um, another issue that we found with that name was... Um, well, people from my culture, they'll probably say Iblis instead. They'll take, just, they'll just take, you know. Take the make out of it. Stupid like that. But, um, but what Idris means is um, fiery, loop, fiery leader. So someone, so like fire. <laughs> How fi ironic. <laughs> what? How ironic. Why? Because Idris, Iblis is made out of fire. Oh. Made out of fire, so. Okay, well, I choose to ignore that. Anyway. <laughs> Moving on, what about you? Um, what was one of your names? So my name was after one of the uh, greatest prophet, one of the, which was Musa, aka Moses. Um, but yeah, I really like Musa. It was a really powerful name and something that <laughs> I was attached to. Iman did not like that oh. name. It was so heavy for her. She was like, ugh, ugh. Okay, if you're <laughs> Arab, and I remember back in the day, they used to say, um, if your name is Musa, I'm gonna say this in Arabic, but Musa be not with Kusa. So as you guys know, Kusa is like um, it's like a, a Lebanese dish made out of squash and like minced meat and rice. So it, but what they're trying to say is that Musa likes to eat Kusa. Likes, likes to pick his Kusa. <laughs> likes to pick his nose. I don't know. Wait, it's what? So... You just said kusa is a, is a Lebanese dish. I know, but for some reason they associated kusa with picking your nose back in Arabic school. It was so weird. 
Well, anyway, it's a it's a prophet's name, so yeah. you know. <laughs> but yeah, that um, Musa was not. Well, I really like the name Iman didn't. But maybe I'm, it's one one for the future. I'm coming around to it actually, so we'll see. Yeah. Well, yeah. Really? Maybe. Really? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Next time. Uh, Barbara Law. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why? Because she doesn't like that name either. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember her saying. Hopefully you'll grow up. If we have a boy. Alright. Next one. We have Elias. Mm. So I think... I don't really know the meaning of Elias. Is there an, There's a prophet Elias, right? I think so. I don't know. <laughs> I think there's a, a million prophets out there. So I don't really know. But anyways, I know that Elias is a very common name for um, an older grandpa name back in our village in Lebanon. That's what my dad told me anyways. Um, so it's not a very popular name at the moment. And I love the fact that it's not that popular because it would be like nice to bring it back up. Mm. Um, so, sorry, while you, while you was speaking, talking, yeah. um, just had a quick search. Yes, Elias is a prophet's name. Um, the equivalent of Elias in biblical terms or Hebrew Bible is um, Elijah. Oh, right. I really like Elijah too. Yeah, Elijah was a really nice thing. That was on the list as well. Fun enough how it connected. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it, Elijah was a really nice name that we wanted as well. Yeah, but Elias is more of an Arabic mm. name. Whereas Elijah is a Hebrew. More, yeah, it's a Hebrew mm. name. So, yeah, okay. Okay, next. Um, I think that was it. No, there's one more. There's one more? Isa. Isa. Never Isa. Oh, yeah. Prophet Isa. I suggested that as well. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Funny not going towards the prophet. Well, you know. Honestly, like the prophet's names are the, like, one of the best mm. like male names, I think. Mm. Like, we're not gonna name Michael or George, you know what I mean? So, I think. I mean, Michael in the Arabic um, term or translation is really nice. Which is Mikhail. Mikhail. I love that too, actually. Yeah, Mikhail was a really nice name, but. Um, a friend of ours named it. Yeah. So we, we like, can't like my childhood mate, like literally. So that was impossible. That was taken. <laughs> but Mikhail is a very nice name. Yeah. 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 Love it. Um. So I think that's all the. Th oh, there's two more boy names actually. They're at the bottom. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah. I forgot these names. It's because like we were having a girl, so I was like, boy's them. name. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Literally. <laughs> Okay, so the, there's the name Aiden. So mm. Aiden means um, brilliant, enlightened, intelligent, light of the moon. Mm. Um, I thought it was really cute. You can spell it in different ways. You can spell it A Y D E N or A I D E N. Mm. I think it's adorable. Yeah, I, I really liked Aiden, but the only issue that I had with that was my nephew's name is Adian, which is basically. There's no relation. But still, it's like, it's similar. I was like, I don't know. It's like... Um, yeah. All right. Next one. Okay. The next one is such a popular name, especially since, I think it was since 2008. It's been gaining so much popularity, and mm. especially in the Arab community. Mm. It's um, Ayan. So Ayan means a gift from God. Mm. And it's, I thought that it was cute, but at the same time, because it's gaining so much popularity right now, I didn't want to name. I didn't want that name to like really be on the list. Mm. Um, I really like it. Um, I, I, I really like that. It's really nice. That's like similar to his name too. Your nephew's name. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. Aiden is more closer. Ayan mm. is. I like it. He has that subtle, light, very light on the tongue. But don't you remember my mom actually mentioned it to us? Ayan. Yeah, and then we were both like. Do you remember? No, yeah, it was, no. We weren't so sure about it. We weren't sure about it, but then we actually grew on it. And, well, I did. <laughs> I don't know. I, I liked it. I really liked it. Yeah. But yeah, I um, think that's it for boys' name. Yeah, so yeah. that's the list of the boys' names. That was, yeah, that's it. I, tell me tell me what you guys like. Like, let me know in the comments below which one you think is like a really good boy name or what you guys are naming your boys. I'd love to know. Mm. Really cute. My favorite is Musa, obviously. 
powerful, powerful leader. Musa's gonna be like, if we do have a Musa, I think Musa's gonna be like this, like really fiery, tall. strong, yeah. tall, independent. Exactly. Yeah. See, dude. <laughs> see, that's what you want. That's what you want from your son, like independent, strong, smart. It's smart. Yeah. And gentle. Right. Musa was gentle. Yeah. He was yeah. Gentle. Musa was very and good looking. <laughs> Like his daddy in the future, who knows? <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to our little girl. All uh, right, uh, let's go, girls. Uh, shall I go first? Yeah. All right, so I really like this name. This is not an Arabic name. Arabic name. Um, it's actually from the series Breaking Bad, if anyone watched that. Never watched it. What's wrong with that? <laughs> but yeah, Breaking Bad the wife's name of the mastermind, I forgot his name was, no? How am I supposed to know? Skylar. Oh yeah. And that's it. But I'm the one that mentioned that name. Yeah, yeah, you did, you did. But as soon as she said it, I was like, that's it, that's the name, that's the name, that's the name. So, yeah. So Skylar, you can spell it in like two different ways. Mm. S-K-Y-L-A-H or S K. Uh, y L A mm, so without, without an H and it's short for Sky. Yeah, so yeah. you can like give her the nickname Sky, and she'd go by like Sky in school. Mm. But I think that's just so it's, it's limitless. Like to me, it's like you know when someone says reach for the sky, or yeah. you know the sky is just limitless. It's yeah. like if for me it would feel like you know freedom and yes, like endless opportunities, and so that's why I really like Skylar or Sky. Yeah. Um, yeah. I thought that was really cute. Yes, we know it's not a Muslim name, it's not an Arabic name. Yeah. Per se. We're but looking actually in every angle, like um, from Arabic to, in some ways, Bengali, even though it's not there, <laughs> it's there, but whatever name, it just needs to be nice with us, has to have a nice meaning. Yeah, I think the meaning um, to us is more important than anything else. Yeah. Because you're kind of like, associating that name to the to the baby and to the to the child yeah yeah and it's not so much who holds that name because everybody holds a certain name and you can have someone names iman who is not the greatest person but you can have an iman who's a great person mm -hmm. like, same thing with Ahmad. like everyone you know oh my god the name like muhammad come on guys it's like the most used name yeah. since the prophet and there are millions and millions of Muhammads out there and mm. they're not all pious and great people. So mm. that's why I don't use, I try to find the meaning of the name as opposed to like... Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. And uh, to be honest with you, like most of the Arabic names that we liked, they were very common. Very common. Yeah. And we did not want a common name. We wanted something different. Something yeah. A bit more unique. Um, and even if it's old. Yeah. Something we can like bring back. Yeah. Make it popular again. But not we don't want it popular now and gaining momentum. We kinda want it to be old and then gaining momentum. That's the thing though, like <laughs> I don't know how you feel about it, but with names or when I like like as soon as you you name your child this. Yeah. And you know, you feel like at the at that time it's very uncommon and it, like no one has it that like, we know. Yeah. And as soon as we name a child that, everyone's got it. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> like, what happened? I know. Where did all these babies come from? <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we're trying to pick a name that's very uncommon. Um, no one that we know has the name. Yeah, we're trying our best not to, like, yeah. no one close to us, I mean. Yeah, yeah. at least. At, at least. least. Yeah, yeah. yeah, at least. Okay, next All one. right. So there's this, um, there's Layana. So L A Y A N A, mm. and it basically in Arabic it means radiant, shining, glowing, and um, I thought that was really cute. Mm. There's a, there's nothing like more about there's nothing like special. There's no special like hidden meaning behind that name. It's just I really like the way it sounds and. I don't know. I think it was a Layana. bit too long for me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I personally thought it's a bit it's a bit too long. Okay, well, something similar to those that sound is Reina. So, usually... We can't keep that one, though. Why? One of my auntie's name is that. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, in 
Anyways, with Reina. Yeah. Uh, it means queen in Arabic. Okay. And but the, but I was googling it as well. It said that the origin is Scandinavian, and it's actually pretty much popular. Like it's a um, it's pretty popular for some reason. I know some of these names, right? I haven't heard before. I'm, I'm sure you guys probably gathered. But it's very like, similar to Rihanna. Rihanna is so common. In, yeah. So have... I'm actually like interested, like hearing the meaning of it as well. But <laughs> yeah, go on, go on. Sorry, what you said. Yeah. So. Leanna and Reina kind of like it ends with an N-A. Mm. It just makes it sound so like, so feminine and beautiful. You know what I mean? That's why I like that. <laughs> You're like, no. Nah, it's not, <laughs> nah. Well, as soon as you like, I know it's an auntie name, like, or someone that I know. No. Nah. Nah. Well, with Reina, she can go by Ray. But Ray is too much of a boy That's name. True. That's, that's my dad's <laughs> my dad's business name. No, <laughs> my dad's name in short. My turn, Aria. Okay, so this one is an Italian name. Um, it means air, which sounds really nice actually. It's yeah. very light on the tongue. Yeah, you know, just as its meaning. And um, Aria is a very Aria. popular name. Aria is a very nice name. Yeah, it was in Game of Thrones. <laughs> Oh yeah! You know that? Yeah! <laughs> I love it. Kid. Wait, hold on. Wait. That but your right. sister, your sister has said that there's a lot of people in the Bengali community who named the name Arya. Is it? That's what she said. It's news to me. Yeah. Really? So it's just very, very popular, and we have it on the list. But it's not something we're. Well, gonna... I don't know anyone named. I don't Arya. know anyone named Arya either. Yeah. I think it's just it's gaining pop. It's gaining so much popularity mm. since maybe last year, the year before. Okay. And we don't know anyone babies, so that's why like we don't really know. No, Aria is a nice name. Let me know, guys. If you uh, if you guys think uh, any of these names that we should pick, let us know. Yeah. Uh, let us friends and family, those who know the name that we picked, and apparently we, I can say that we've decided on the name, which I'm kind of surprised. But yeah, we have decided on the name. The name is not on the list, but those who know the name, please keep it to yourself. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, all right. The next one is another A name is Ava, or you could spell it E V A or A V A. But anyways, it's it, it is German. But mm. there are a lot of girls in uh, their community who have the name Ava. Yeah, Ava's a nice name. It's very very popular. This name, extremely popular. It's always been very popular. Very popular, in fact. So, um, a girl from my year but not in the same cause yeah it has that name oh okay yeah so yeah it's a cute i think it's a cute short name if you want to mm. name that eva we don't have a meaning for it oh i don't have a meaning for it no should we quickly google it okay so it says here that eva is of unclear origin so they're not sure where it actually originated from but it could be german latin persian and hebrew um it means bird-like and lively <laughs> like a little bird okay 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 so it's cute yeah it's cute that's yeah. cute and then we have two more names mm -hmm. maya um maya's really nice name actually um yeah maya's really cute but maya is like kiss oh that's cute in bengali i think yeah. really yeah like <laughs> when we say it when we go to a kid, like to a baby, when we see a young baby, like a newborn, like, like I want to my baby. Like, like, just give me a kiss, give me a kiss. Um, so yeah, Maya, that's a really nice name. Yeah, Maya. I like that. Means uh, gracious nature. Yeah, that's yeah. really. I love that because I feel like females, they have this thing about them where they could be strong and beautiful, mm -hmm. feminine yet like independent and just courageous and brave and and that's kind of how i imagine our little girl being like like a mother like her mommy <laughs> <Thanks, babe. laughs> just strong independent yet feminine and just taking the world by the by its horns mm -hmm. yeah that's definitely how I imagine. that's what we want from our kids whether it's a girl or a boy whether it's a girl or a boy yeah obviously in this case it's a girl but yeah, yeah we want them just go for it <laughs> everyone everyone should 
Uh, last one. Last one is the name Sienna. It's so different for us and like something I would never have ever chosen, but for some reason I like it. Mm. And it means, if you just Google it, it means reddish brown. But the, there's also another meaning, which is delicate. Mm. And um, the name originates from Italy and it's after, it comes from the town called Siena or Siena. Mm. S-I-E-N-A in Italy. So it's a very popular touristy area. It's a really nice name. I like it. You like Siena? Yeah. Yeah, it's Sounds really like cute. It's Serena. long though. Yeah, it's similar very to Serena. Very similar to Serena. Yeah. Selena. Tennis um, player. Yeah. 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 So yeah, that's basically it guys. Let us know in the comments what you guys love from the boys' names and from the girls' names. And let us know what you guys are naming your children. We'd love to know. Yeah. Unless you're keeping it a secret like we are for, for right now. <laughs> no, we actually realized like, oh, in my hands, definitely like there are so many people that like popping up like they're pregnant and like some some of them are like due at the same time. Some of them you. are what? Some of them are due at the same time. Oh, due, well, yeah. So, yeah. Which is kind of, it's really nice to know actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. First time I was, second time I was, third time I was, yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so let us know what you guys think of the names. Um, we might actually keep some of them, never know, for, for the future. Yeah, I think um, we love these names. Yeah, we really do. Um, yeah. If you guys, you know, keep one of these, let us know as well. We'd love to know. Yeah, let us know if you guys like any of them and you would name your child that. Mm. Yeah. So let me give you guys a quick update about how things have been going so far in terms of my pregnancy. Because I haven't had um, a chance to film a second trimester symptom video or a third trimester symptom video. So let me just quickly tell you guys um, a little bit about how it's going right now. Um, so funny enough, I'm the only, really, the only thing I'm really feeling are like tiredness, heaviness, um, some swelling in my ankles and, um, the stretch marks have come in. <laughs> so I've hit 37 weeks and then what happened was that all of a sudden I have a bunch of stretch marks and it was expected, even though like, you know, you moisturize and you put baby oil, I swear to God, they just like come out of nowhere. Mm. And like, I'm mad. He noticed just recently how big I've gotten, and it's just so crazy. <laughs> yeah, you've gone actually big. Like I was like, whoa, <laughs> what happened there? Um, but yeah, no, alhamdulillah, um, we're on like what week thirty eight. Yeah. So yeah, coming to an end. Two weeks left. Hopefully, hopefully, oh, hopefully. Um, <laughs> inshallah. Inshallah, yeah. Hey guys, that's going to end our video for today. Thank you so much for watching. We love you so much. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.